A very good morning and I'm Shanti to all of you listeners. Welcome back to your 296th day of your college blessing where God wants us to have a predefined idea about what is suksham and what is thul. That means what is non-physical and what is physical in nature. In the same essence, we'll think about how to make the suksham or the non-physical soul pure and powerful so that the thul means the physical world around us also changes as per that. Of physical things around us also change as per that for the betterment of our life. So let's see what does Baba have to say over here. Baba says, May you follow every order. Now, whose order? Not my order, but God's order. And where do we learn that order? We learn that order at Brahma Kumari's. What exactly is that order for the day? What to do, what not to do, what to be careful about today so that we don't end up sinning and increasing the weight of sins over our head. And the more the weight of the sins over our head increases, lesser the power we have to do, we have in us to do something good in life. The willpower reduces because of increase of sins. So then God says, may you follow every order, whether physical or subtle, in the physical world, or subtle but for the physical world to reflect that change in us it has to first start reflecting from the thoughts that's the subtle so first the subtle and then the physical we'll explore that also and be completely obedient to the father so let's get in the expression part Baba says the children who are obedient in following subtle orders subtle orders means what to think what not to think how much to remember God, when to remember God, how much to be in meditation with God. That is the subtle essence. The children who are obedient in following subtle order develop the power to follow the physical orders. So if the thoughts are powerful, automatically it will reflect in your physical world. You'll be able to bring about changes in your habits because of pure thoughts in your habits and those habits will be reflected obviously in the physical world, right? So first the subtle and then the physical. The subtle and main order is and what is the subtle and main order what do we have to do in our thoughts main order is constantly stay in remembrance and become pure in your thoughts words and deeds the kind of friends which we have birds of same feather flock together the kind of friends which we have in our life reflects the kind of habits which we will inculcate in our life so well, let's make god that friend so that his values and his powerful virtues and his powerful knowledge always touches us at every time so that in a subtle manner so that in the physical world we can bring about those changes in our habits and the old habits will go away so then god says constantly stay in remembrance and become pure in your thoughts words and deeds let there not be any impurity or uncleanliness in your thoughts now that is very important because that is what drains away all the power in our, and the willpower is drained out. If you have impure thoughts, if you have got unnecessary thoughts, waste thoughts in our mind throughout the day, then the battery is leaking, the battery is getting discharged faster and the willpower reduces because that's why if you're not feeling good from inside because of thinking impure thoughts, negative thoughts, if you don't feel good from inside, then obviously it will not reflect into any good work. Good deeds won't come out from us. We won't have the power or we won't have the interest or zeal to do that good work in our life so good that's why god says focus on the subtle improve purify the subtle so that it will reflect in your physical world you have more power and battery won't be leaking so let's see what does baba say regarding the case of battery let there not be any impurity or uncleanliness in your thoughts if your old and impure sanskars touch your thoughts impure sanskars impure habits those habits could be looking at negative than others those habits could be having ego or having having revenge capacity in ourselves to take revenge from others to put down others that could be an old habit or to be lazy that could be an old habit or old sanskar one and the same thing so god says if your old impure sanskars touch your thoughts you cannot be called perfect vaishnavas or completely pure now vaishnavas or khalsas as the sikh people call it in the sikh religion or you call it as puritans or saints in the other religions or pak 
the world, Pakistan has come from the world, Pak, Pak means pure. So, whether you call it Vaishnav, whether you call it Pak, whether you call it Khalsa, it's one of the same thing. It's about being pure. So, God says, so do not have a single thought without following the orders. What are the orders? First, be in constant remembrance of me. You would then be called one who is completely obedient. So, it's for our own benefit. Pure thoughts will reflect into zeal, into power, and that can be seen through our habits and through our deeds. So contain your power. Do not let it get drained out. Do not let your willpower go away. And what are those powers? How do we not let them drain out? How further we can work on them? You can learn it at Brahma Kumaris called Spiritual University. That's what that university is teaching you all about. So have a blessed day. Stay safe. Om Shanti. Mm-hmm.